Hello, third grade math friends. Today is Thursday, March 26, 2020. We are starting our day with lesson 64. You can find it on these pages right here. We will start on page 346. And we are learning about multiplication facts that have nine in it. Now, I know what you might be thinking. Miss Erin, there's no way that I am ready to learn how to multiply with a factor of nine. Yes, you are. And before we start, I want to do this quick warm up with you because this will help you think about what your products will be when you multiply with a factor of nine. So, Looking at the board right here, you have some addition problems. And I want you to think about what numbers you would need to fill in the blank to solve for that uh, addition problem. So first one, we have one plus blank equals nine. Now being the smart third graders that you are, you would be able to tell me eight. One plus eight equals nine. I will quickly do the rest with you. And right here, we have all of our addition problems solved. One plus eight equals nine. Two plus seven equals nine. 3 plus 6 equals 9, 4 plus 5 equals 9, 5 plus 4 equals 9, 6 plus 3 equals 9, 7 plus 2 equals 9, and 8 plus 1 equals 9. Now, what I want you to observe is the fact that all of my add-ins right here on the left-hand side, they are going up by 1. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. But in the 1's column, you'll see that these numbers are going down by 1. 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. Now this is just a quick little warm-up and introduction as to what we are going to be learning next. All right, third grade, so as we move on in this lesson, I'm going to give you a few strategies to help you think about what the products are going to be when we multiply with a factor of nine. Now, this multiplication chart is also in your textbook on page 346, but what I want you to look at is that purple boxed right there. And thinking back to this right here, when we added these numbers up and it gave us nine, I want you to look at these numbers in that box. Do they look kind of similar to what you see here? Do you see the same digits being used? I do, I see a one and an eight and I see a one and an eight here. I see a two and a seven. I see a two and a seven here. Now let's talk about this strategy a little bit further, okay? I want you to look at what's happening to the tens column and these numbers right here. So you are looking at these numbers right there and you'll see that these numbers are going up by one. We're going from one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. And if you look at the ones column, they are not going up by one, they are going down by one. So we start with eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one, zero. And that is the strategy that we use to solve factors of nine. So we know, according to this chart right here, that three times nine equals 27. And if we look down here, we know that two plus seven equals nine. That is how they all tie together. So if you were to add both of those digits up, 
just looking at this box right here, we know that one plus eight equals nine, two plus seven equals nine, three plus six equals nine, four plus five equals nine, and so on and so on. So if you are seeing numbers and they add up together and they equal nine, you know that you are dealing with a factor of nine. All right, third grade, I'm going to show you strategy number two when we multiply with a factor of nine. Now this requires both hands. This requires all 10 fingers and I'm gonna show you why. So what I want you to do is imagine that each finger is numbered one through 10. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. 10. Now if we were to multiply one, times nine, I would need to fold over the first finger. And then I need to count the other fingers. So one times nine equals one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine. Let's try two times nine. That means I need to fold over my second finger. And then I need to look to my left. Now I have one finger there, and that means that I have one in the tens column. And then I need to look to the right. I have eight fingers on the right side. So I have one, and I have eight. I have one in the, in the tens column, eight in the ones column. That means that I have 18. That is the value of these fingers right here. So. I have two times nine equals 18. Let's try three times nine. Notice that I, I folded over my third finger. So three times nine, look to the left, you see two fingers right there. Look to the right, you see seven fingers right there. So I know that three times nine equals 27. So all of the fingers that are to the left of the finger that you have folded down, that means that we are in the tens column, or in the tens place. All the fingers to the right are a value of one. Let's try four times nine. I have folded over the fourth finger I need to look to the left. I have three fingers there. And since we know that that is in the tens column, that means that I have a value of 30. And then I need to look to the right. I have six fingers left. So that means that I just have six over there. 30 plus six equals 36. So we know that four times nine equals 36. Now third grade, I want to throw a challenge out to you. I would like that with the help of your parents or someone, an adult, to record you doing this by showing your hands, I wanna see if you can teach me how to multiply five times nine. What would that give me? What would my product be? And I'm just gonna show you a quick little glimpse as to what that's gonna look like, but I wanna hear from you what our strategy would sound like. I want you to talk me through the process of it. So here's your quick little glimpse as to what it should look like, but I wanna hear you explain it, okay? So we are doing five times nine. Here's the fifth finger. All right, that's your challenge. And if you wanna challenge yourself even more, you can do factors of eight times nine. So that would go all the way to this finger here. All right, let's see what you guys can come up with. Okay, third grade, I am excited to see your videos teaching me how to multiply five times nine. I'm not going to show you any more of this chart because that might give it away. But I do want to work on lesson practice, which is on page 347. We are going to do these facts right here. 
and you can do a couple things to help you solve. You can either look at your multiplication chart. You might be able to use that finger strategy or you might even be able to skip count. You could skip count here. This one might be a little challenging, but whatever you want to use as a strategy, you can. So nine times three, think about our multiplication chart and what we had to add together to get nine. One, two, three. So we know that nine times three equals 27. If I added two plus seven, that would give me nine. Nine times four, hmm. You might wanna use your multiplication table again for that. That is totally fine. Nine times four, looking at our chart, we'll go over to four. We'll go all the way over to nine and we would have our product of 36. You could also use the row with the factor of nine. Nine times four, we'd start at the nine and we'd go all the way over four. So nine times four is 36. For nine times six, you can also look at your chart. You could go from six all the way over to nine or you could start at nine and go all the way down to six. When we do D, nine times 10, you can simply just skip count by tens nine times. Let's do that together. We go from 10, 20, 30, 40, 50, 60, 70, 80, 90. We know that we, when we multiply with a factor of 10, it's just gonna be this digit with the zero at the end. Let's do E and F. Now, when we multiply with a factor of nine, we know that this first factor is going to be doubled. So nine times 11 is simply going to be 99. Let's check our work. 11 all the way across to nine is 99. Now, nine times 12, that's a big one. Looking at our multiplication chart, you could either do one of two things. You can start with 12 and go all the way over to nine, or you can start at nine and go all the way down to 12. Either way, your product is going to be 108. Now, third graders, this is the end of our lesson. I still would like to see your videos teaching me how to multiply five times nine. I will look forward to seeing those in a little bit and your homework for this evening will be posted on Dojo. Have a great rest of your day and keep working hard.